Welcome back to the LAFB Cover 4, where we cover the four LA football teams, four minutes, the Chargers, the Rams, UCLA, and USC. So my name is Gavin. Let's get right into it. Starting off with USC. Um, USC is coming off a loss to Washington, who remains 9-0 in the Pac-12 and in first place. Um, but this game was an absolute shootout. Uh, the final score was 52-42. to uh, but once again, honestly, the defense for you is very weak. Missed tackles, blown coverages, and so with that loss, head coach Lincoln Riley responds by firing the defensive coordinator Alex Grinch. As of now, the defensive line coach John Nua and the inside linebackers coach Brian Odom will serve as the interim co-defensive coordinators. Um, that loss against Washington puts USC at 7-3, and in third place in the Pac-12, uh, they face off against Oregon this week in Eugene. Then they end the season off against UCLA. So probably hoping to at least win one of those two last games, end the season off. Um, we'll see. Moving on to UCLA now. Uh, the Bruins are coming off a loss to Arizona, 27-10. to Arizona has sort of been on a hot streak, though, um, beating number 19-ranked Washington State and beating number 16 Oregon State, um, but the quarterback struggles for UCLA just continue. Um, in my opinion, all three keep playing in this game, Garber, Schley, and Moore, and didn't really see much out of all three of them. Maybe they can also reverse the sluggish start the Bruins seemingly continue to have each game, and also hopefully Coach Chip Kelly get the boys back on track to take on Arizona State, a game where UCLA is favored by 18 points back at home see how that goes um moving on to the chargers now the chargers are coming off a great win on monday night football against a very respectful defense in the jets um herbert threw for a season low of 136 yards but the chargers defense was really the story of the night um they had eight sacks on zach wilson they also forced three turnovers uh this win put the chargers back on 500 on the season so standing at four and four and second place in the AFC West. Like I said last week to Chargers fans, I did this. Uh, don't panic. Don't call to blow up the team just yet. Uh, next week's matchup could show life for the Chargers depending on how they play because this Sunday they have a really tough task uh, matched up against the Detroit Lions team that has shown glimpses of becoming Super Bowl contenders at times. Um, we'll see this Sunday at 1.05 p.m. at SoFi Stadium. Moving on to the Rams. Uh, the Rams are coming off a brutal loss to the Packers, uh, 20 to three, not even scoring a single touchdown. Um, with Matthew Stafford out for that game, Brett Rippin was tasked at quarterbacking this offense. Um, that offense was struggling this game, only throwing for 130 yards. Uh, Rippin was 13 and 28 with one interception. Uh, the Rams offense only had 187 yards for this game and Rippon just seemed not quite fit for the task. Um, missing open throws, not making the best reads. Uh, this loss puts the Rams at three and six and third place in the NFC West. Um, on another note though, the Rams just signed quarterback Carson Wentz and they waived Rippon. Um, hopefully Wentz will back up Stafford if Stafford can get back healthy after this bye week. And then at the end of the bye week, they will plan on taking on the Seahawks who they beat in week one in great fashion. So hopefully they can repeat that success they had in week one. That's it for the cover four. Thank you guys for watching.